and welcome back to my channel it is ridiculously hot right now in Australia like I'm just about dying if you can see I'm all sweaty and flustered it's just disgusting like anyway today I thought I would do something a little bit different for a video and it's something I've just made up like I mean I haven't made it up people do it all the time but it's a name that I made up so, so it is called fab or fantasy and this means that I'm going to be getting an idea or like a product or a technique slash hack slash slash hack that people think work or they say works and you know a lot of the time they don't they do absolutely nothing so I'm going to be testing one out for you today and this I just saw recently and if it works it's like fantastic because if you suffer from dark circles like me um because I have quite transparent skin under my eyes and stuff um, then you know that there's not a lot out there that helps and no matter how much concealer you put on for me it often seems to make it worse somehow like you try and the more you try and hide them the more they show so anyway I saw this on Facebook it was a video and it was this lady so I'm not taking credit for this um, but this lady put red lipstick under her eyes oh I'm all sweaty God. Um, so she put red lipstick under her eyes and then did the normal concealer on top and foundation I thought, oh my goodness, what a great idea because, you know, they have like salmon toned concealers and that kind of stuff to cover dark circles specifically, but it's a pale salmon, so this red has the same tone to balance out the purpley blue tones, but just to like a more intense, like, what's the word? Degree, I guess, a more intense degree. Um, so I'm going to be testing it out for you today, and the red lipstick that I'm going to be using is this Maybelline one in... 735 Rose Rush and it's just a classic red lipstick um, looks a bit like that like my nails which I can safely say are back to a acceptable standard right now um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it under here got my mirror over here and we'll see what happens so I believe she just said to like dab it on like this sorry I'll look up so you can see a bit better which is Ridiculous. I feel quite scared doing this right now. I don't actually know how much to put on. I feel like I'm getting ready for Halloween a little bit late. I'm just going to say that that will do. Uh, I don't like this. And so I think she said then you just blend it out with your fingers a little bit. Which, oh my god, it's going to be a nightmare getting on stuff because... I'm not very good at watching what I touch and I can tell I'm going to get red lipstick somewhere. And if it's on the couch, my throat will be slit today from my mother. Okay. So then I'm going in with my concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in 15 Fair. Um, and I guess just pop it on as normal. Under your eye. You can already see it turning a peachy colour, blending with that, which I do not know if that's a good or a bad thing. While I'm there, I'm just going to conceal some spots that I have as well. I'm assuming the red lipstick wouldn't work for spots because that's like red on red and that'll probably just make it worse. <laughs> I don't know, it might do, but um, for blending that on, I'm taking this Aldi um, Lacure Beauty Brush little fluffy thing. I might just do the spots first. I like to work like my way up to the big thing, so get all the little bits out of the road and then do, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just weird. Alright. It might be good to cover veins on your eyes too because I have quite veiny eyelids and I guess it's like both red, you know. Um, maybe with the foundation it'll help because it's still looking quite red under there. And from someone who suffers with very red cheeks like all the time, it's enhancing that. As for the dark circles though, I mean, I guess it's worked a lot better than most stuff. So if I put foundation on, we will see. I should have done a before and after. That was silly. Well, you could kind of see, I guess. 
So I've just got a little bit of foundation. It's the May it, oh my gosh, I'm going with all Maybelline stuff today. This is weird. It's the new Matt and Paulus Fit Me in uh, 115 Ivory. This is like slightly too dark for me sometimes, but you can work with it. So. I'm just concentrating that on the eye bits first because I guess that's where you kind of need it with all that red bloody lipstick there. Um, I'm not going to bother like putting on foundation everywhere kind of, I'm just going to blend it out around from here just so you can see if it actually works. Which I think I've done enough and all I can say is that it does, I'm just trying to see from like a distance, it does 100% get rid of dark circles but if you do like I did too close to the lash line you get the red lipstick shine still so you're going to have to really get in with the concealer over that right under your lashes. So I'll just show you a bit of a close up. If you can see that, see how like there's no dark circles there. But you can see there's like a little like line of red under my eyes, kind of look a little tired or something. But other than that, I mean, if you get the gist of it and you sort of, so I'm just gonna sit back down. Um, so if you if you practice and really get under there, it's fantastic. So I would say that is fab, not a fantasy, which is excellent because I can use that now when I am looking like a zombie, basically. So I hope that's helped some of you if you're like a bit worried to try that out. I don't have anywhere to go so it didn't really matter if I came out looking like an idiot, which you know I sort of have a little but I can fix that up. So yeah, please let me know if you try this or if you already knew about this and used it before. Um, show anyone who suffers from dark circles about it, it might help them out. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!